Good evening, Taylor Tots. And as you can see by the title of this video and exactly what you're looking at right here, we have a gas law review. Again, we have our Boyle's law, our Charles law, our Gay-Lussac law, our combined gas law, and our ideal gas law. Um, I've been struggling with how I wanted to do this video probably for the last six hours or so. Um, and really what it came down to is um, I don't want to put problems on the board. I really don't want to handwrite or have a document or have you move the camera around between me. I don't have a printer in my apartment. So if I print out a worksheet, I literally have to put it on my computer screen, show you, put it back on my computer screen, and all that back and forth is just not going to help you guys out. Uh, and honestly, I don't want you to be able to solve a problem. I don't want you to be able to solve a problem that I put on the board. I want you to be able to solve all the problems that I put on a board. So what I'm going to do is I just kind of want to give you a little bit of overview of each gas law and how to pick which one to use. Um, a lot of you on the quiz, you know, the math is good. You all have proven to me you know the math. You know how to say, you know, if you have Charles's law, you can cross multiply. Again, the V1, T1, T2, V1 thing, or you could just figure out all of one side and then multiply over or divide over. Really, however it works for you. Um, however, what really has been getting people is, you know, strictly put, um, which one to use. So that's kind of really what I'm going to show you. Um, again, I have color code. I just want to really go quickly over the laws. Boyle law is P1, V1 equals P2, V2. Again, boils potatoes violently. Um, again, I make a lot of potato salad, so I boil a lot of potatoes. Potato is or something that's in my diet a little more than it should be, admittedly. So that one kind of sticks out to me. Again, there's a lot of different ones you could do. Charles watches, you know, your TV. Charles watches TV or Charles views TV. Uh, that one kind of helps there. Gay Lussac physically trains or Gay Lussac drives a PT cruiser. Uh, the combined gas law is, again, the combined gas law. You slam all of them together. Um, just to kind of show you as well, just to kind of show you as well, you know, you got your Boyle's Law, you've got your Gay-Lussac Law, and you got your, oh sorry, Gay-Lussac Law, and then you got your Charles's Law all there. So literally they just slammed everything together for you, so it was one big thing. Um, and then of course, over here, honestly the most important one, the Ideal Gas Law. Um, I just kind of really just wanted to show you, you know, a little bit of what's going on with these laws. And again, I am going to color code. Um, and again, I apologize to my screen. This is the biggest I can make it without making it really messy. So again, I do apologize. But the biggest thing with Boyle's Law, as you'll notice, it's P1, V1, P2, V2. There's no temperature in that equation. And a few of you have been missing kind of that aspect of it. Again, it's it's very easy to figure out what to use. Some of you can read the problem, plug in the variables, and you're good to go. But some of you need that little hint on how to get started. And the hint is, there's no T here. So if the equation doesn't mention in temperature, or if it says constant, which I just forgot how to spell. <laughs> Oops. I figured it out, though. Uh, constant temperature. Um, you know you're going to be good to go. You know you're going to be good to go. Um, that's really the easiest way to kind of go over these equations. Um, Charles's Law, kind of just go through that one again. You got your V1, T1, V2, T2. Again, a division problem. A lot of you were flipping this. This is a inverse relationship. The more pressure you put on something, and I might have it hidden right here. I do. The more pressure that you put on something, the smaller that it's going to get. Okay, and that's something you know. If you put it as a division problem, you are saying that when you squeeze something, it gets bigger. Or that when I pump it up, the pressure increases exponentially. And that just isn't physically true. Again, with those particles moving, the more pressure you're putting on, the more and more, the, um, pardon me, the more and more that volume has to fight. Again, making it small. Again, with this one, and I apologize, uh, again here with V, you, you see there's no pressure. So I'm not going to say anything about, you know, atmospheres. And, you know what, and I apologize, I think I might be writing this a little small. So I'm going to try to write it a little bit bigger. So you're going to have no ATM. You're going to have no KPA. 
or it's going to say constant pressure. That's really what it's going to come down to. Um, and again, I will at the end of this video kind of go into a little bit more detail about KPA and all that other stuff. And I really should be making these under cases. Again, I apologize. It's really not the biggest deal, but I do want to make sure that you guys are consistent. So I should be consistent. Sorry about that. Pretty cool. And with this one, of course, as I lost the marker top, I'll find it later. This one has no volume. No volume whatsoever. Um, and you know what? Just to be kind of consistent as well, I'm just going to erase this really quick. And I am going to write, just so you guys can see it, there'll be nothing about Kelvin. Again, we don't care about Celsius. We don't care about Celsius. So here we're going to have nothing about uh, milliliters or liters. And that's really kind of how you um, really kind of figure out those um, basic gas laws. Going with the combine, you can see that everything is changing. Everything is there. And what happened was they were starting to realize, the scientists way back in the day, that, oh, you know what? It's not just pressure and temperature at the same time. It's not just volume and temperature at the same time. It's not pressure and volume at the same time. It's all three put together. So this guy is one of the more important ones. And again, as long as your units are the same, you're going to be good to go. Um, what that means is you have to be ATM, ATM, KPA, KPA, but you cannot be you cannot be that. As a matter of fact, you can't be that so much I'm literally going to waste your time and cover it with as many colors as I possibly can because you really don't want to do that. Again, if you do, technically your units are going to be off and you know how much I don't like units being off because um, you're going to get a really, really funky answer. But again, it's really, really the same thing. Um, and I am going to do a unit conversion. I know we've done like close to 10 in class, but I'm going to put another one right here so no worries there. Um, with the ideal gas law. And I'm going to shift the camera down just a little bit because I'm going to occupy some more space. Occupy some more space. I apologize. I apologize. Oop. Let's see. I make this thing too tight is what I do. Ooh. Hey, you can see me. Hi. Oh, look at me. Oh, hey. Let me show you guys something cool. I ran a 5K today and I found this on the ground. Ooh. Got a little dinosaur buddy. We'll post it on the YouTube. You guys will get to name it. Ooh. It's a little triceratops thing. Anyway, that's my random thought. I also bought a Chinese lantern today. Super excellent. Sweet. That's a little bit better. So, coming from here, the ideal gas law, this is the one that's really, really important. Really, really important. And the reason is because it has two things that are different. We have moles. And we have the gas constant. Honestly, this is the big giveaway. If you see that it has moles in it, you're only using one equation. You note, I'm not putting Dalton's law on here. You're noting, I'm not putting Avogadro's law on there. There's a reason for that. So just keep that in mind. If it says moles, you're using Pivnert. Pedro vete no regreses tarde. Again, I've heard four different things of what that means. Pedro leave, don't come back late. Or Pedro leave, don't come back. Whatever it is. But Pedro vete... No regreses tarde. Again, that's a little tip from one of my friends from Puerto Rico. That's how they teach it over there, which I think is pretty cool. Again, there's two R values. It's either 8.314 kPa, liters, mole Kelvin. That is the unit. That is the unit for this. Do not plug things in. 
I do not want to see you plugging KPAs here. This is not the equation. This is the unit for this. This is not the equation. This is the unit. Crazy, right? That's a big unit. But it does tell you that's the KPA one. And there's another R value. Because I don't want you to have to worry about converting all the time. I'll give you this little hint. And this unit is ATM liter mole Kelvin. And that is the unit for this guy. Again, do not plug things into this equation. This is the unit for this. Because everything then cancels out. You know, in this case, the ATM will cancel out. The volume will cancel out. The moles will cancel out. And the Kelvin will cancel out for temperature. Keep that in mind. Um, and that's really the brief overview. I did want to spend some time doing conversion really quickly. Again, if you're going from say 50 KPA, I know some of you have done this example in class, but I want to just be consistent. We don't care about KPA. 101.3 KPA. We care about ATM. And again, you know that these guys are the STP values. Uh, this will end up with 50 divided by 101.3 is going to be a 0 0.49 ATM. And I'm going to pause, make sure it's zoomed in for you. Zoom that in. Look at that. Look at that, and I'm going to race it, because that's what I'm about. Okay, I'm just pausing so you can pause the video, check it out. I'm going to erase it, and I'm going to do another one. Okay, I'm going to do another one. Look at my cool eraser. All right, so let's say we have, we're just doing KPA to ATM. Let's say we had 7.2 ATM, and I want to go to KPA. Well, this time, again, 7.2. I apologize for my computer shutting down. That's the noise you heard. Again, our STP value is 1. 101.3 KPA. Units cancel. And 7.2 times 101.3 is 729.4 KPA. So... That's just a basic conversion of that. Okay, good, you can see that perfectly. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And that's a really big deal because that conversion is really honestly just as easy as going from feet to inches. One foot is 12 inches. Cool. Well, one atmosphere is 101.3 kPa. It's the same conversion. It's the same as three feet are in one yard. It's the same as, uh, there's two, uh, sorry, there's one dozen, one dozen is 12. Uh, a trio is three. One trio is three. This is just, you know, to be honest with you, kind of a weirder number. That's really it. Um, the one last thing I want to show you again, STP. This has been getting you guys, and I warned you. I warned you, I warned you, I warned you that this was going to be the thing that was going to be make or break for you. Okay? Which is, to be completely honest. Um, STP. If I'm asking for STP conditions, it is one atmosphere or 101.3 kPa and it's 273 Kelvin or and I don't like saying this but it is zero degrees Celsius some of you have been getting this wrong because I've had questions that have been like oh yeah it's zero degrees Celsius and then it goes to STP well zero degrees Celsius is STP so there's no temperature because it's constant which means it's going to be a Boyle's Law. Um, so just, just, just please, please, please keep that in mind. Which means if I ask you for STP conditions, a lot of times you guys are going to have 273 at the bottom. And you're going to have one ATM. Or, you know, if I don't say anything, some of you, again, have been doing a really good job with your options. It's going to be something like this. And that's really that, to be honest with you. Again, nothing too crazy, 
Um, but again, I do notice that a lot of you guys are making this harder than it needs to be. Again, the, the thing that's been getting people in years past is the math. You guys are doing good with the math. It's really just can you read those problems and go from there. So I'm just adding something to something you can't see right now, which is why it's shaking. And that's really all there is to it. Honestly, with this overview, you should now be able to figure out what equations to use. I've gone over SDP. I showed you some more conversions. You know, let me know. Um, the test is Wednesday right now. And kind of just to let you guys know, I am being pulled for park testing on Tuesday. So I will not, I will be in the building Tuesday, but I won't be in the classroom. Again, I'll talk to more about this uh, tomorrow and we'll figure things out. Again, um, I'm just going to quickly go through everything just so you can kind of, you know, look at it. So I'll zoom in on everything individually, pause for maybe two seconds, and then we'll get you guys out of here. Do, 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 do. Oop, something just fell. I'll be right there. Alrighty, so the first thing I want you guys to focus in on, Boyle's Law. Charles's Law. Woo! Me still not knowing how to use my camera. And Gay Lusak kind of all together. Again, constants, all that stuff. We got our boy, the Combined Gas Law. Again, please note, please note that we do not want ATM and KPA. It needs to be ATM, ATM, or KPA, KPA. It needs to be like that. We got our ideal gas law with our two different R values. We got our R value with KPA. We got our R value with ATM. And as you guys have already seen, just a little STP stuff. Um, again, this has kind of been a complete look at the gas law equations. I know some of you wanted me to do some problems. I know that. Um, I really, really know that. However, I, I really think that for some of you, you're going to learn how to do those problems and you're not going to know how to do any problem I throw at you. Again, this should be a lot more helpful to you. Again, peace roll bro. Let's see if I can actually turn this off. I apologize for a slightly longer video, but it's about the same length as last week. Again, test Wednesday. I won't be in Tuesday. Peace.